Oh, okay. What's the best to start for? Uh... We've only done the first one and we got like 56 hours in that. We're not complete. We have not done the second or third one. The first one's definitely the easier one. Uh, if you actually look, yeah, I can actually see your stream right now. Um, if you look at the second and the third one, they kind of talk about it. One of the big things is like, this takes a lot of landscape to build on. Mm -hmm. And like the second one talks about how dense it is and it's hard to find places to build. Uh... So if you want to do it, if you want to do a nice start, do the first one. If you want to do a more difficult one, the second or third one. But really, honestly, the difficulty that comes from that isn't like one of those things to where it's um, it's hard. It's just you got to figure it out. It's not like going on insane or hard mode on seven days where you're going to die. You're not going to die. You're just going to figure out how the hell to make it work. Okay. Let's do the grassy field just to try it out. Actually, no, I want this northern forest. <laughs> It looks cooler. Harder. I know the grassy field rather well too, so if we go in there, I'm gonna like know what direction to go to get some stuff. Okay. It's not RNG, it's actually their static maps. Okay. Making building harder, but biomass is a common resource. Is biomass important? It is early, but not late. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, biomass is. One second, I'm moving this computer over here. Alright. <laughs> One second. I uh, have headphones on it so the audio doesn't come out and uh, I managed to hook the fucking headphones on the edge of the desk and like jerk it back towards the thing that was awesome um, I can see your stream now that allows for me to okay. if I need to look over and see what you're doing um, so biomass is early on what it does is um, you put it inside of a burner and it burns it and it creates uh, energy to be able to run the machines but later on you end up getting coal and oil and uh, a bunch of other, other different resources. We haven't used biomass in like, we're at like 58 hours and we haven't used biomass in the last like probably 40 hours. Okay, so rocky desert would probably be better end game, but northern and grass would be, probably be easier for early game. I don't one second, let me look at them again and see what they say. Medium sized area bordering the sea, which is mostly flat with nicely balanced distance and building opportunities with limited biomass. The second one doesn't sound bad at all. Um, the third one, small but lush mountainous areas surrounded by varied biomes, making building harder. Okay, so the third one's gonna be the more difficult one for sure. Okay. Because you build big machines in big directional aspects, and like it's big, big lines that you have to run things from, so it becomes more difficult to be able to try to figure out how the hell to get something from one location to another if you have like dense areas. Okay. So, um, one is the easy one. It's really not that bad. Like I know where most of the stuff is though, so it's kind of I can't unknow that sort of thing. Um, the second one I have no idea, but it doesn't sound that bad at all. All right, let's try the second one. All right, sounds good. All right, are we friended on? Uh... Yeah, I got you. Okay. And I got you on my screen over here too. So if I need to, if you got a question, I can see what you're doing. I think it's uh, what is it, a five second delay? Something yeah, it like looks. Looks like I, I pulled your up, your stream up online. No. Oh. Attention, pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending. Can I join yours yet? I think. Uh, it says locked. Did you make it? I said friends, friends only. I think it's because I'm still on the loading screen, maybe. Okay. Yeah, this is a, your pod's gonna land. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Here, why it's doing that? I'm gonna run to use the bathroom real quick. Just don't get killed by a uh, the chargey fuckers. Okay, I'll be right back. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R and D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through R 
information and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. All right, I'm back. And welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, does my stream, the camera, and all that look good? Yeah, it looks uh, looks different than it did uh, on the last video. It looks uh, the colors look better on this monitor. Yeah, I've um, I got the camera here. It was over here. And I got the green screen back up there now, where it was like right freaking behind me. I have better, you want to get distance off a green screen because it'll reflect the green back on you and do some weird shit. Mm. So I got better distance on it. Um, I got that key light up there. Uh, or not key light, um, whatever it's called. Um, I got my light up there now, so it should be lit better now. The coloring should look better. This is what I'm looking at the screen, it looks like. Welcome to onboarding. Uh, like straight ahead, but the thing is, I can't see myself until afterwards to see if that looks good. The yeah, there is a looks like a five second delay. To construct a yeah. habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note Fix It Incorporated is cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. This consumable possesses yeah, I'm gonna skip the properties. introduction. Let me know if it's talking to you. To establish object scanner identification. Oh, it's telling me how to play, I guess. Yeah. yeah if you hit F, it puts it in a dismantle mode to where if you build something, you can dismantle it. Oh. Um, you have to dismantle the drop pod in order to be able to uh, get the resources to build the first thing. Oh, okay. So hit F and then look at the drop pod and it should like get glowy. You gotta hit F first so you don't you'll have yeah. a thing out in your hand. I broke it up. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to fix it regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. So after that, should ask you to make your Xeno Zephyr, I think. Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Do you have to eat in this game? Third nah. There, there are berries and stuff around it, but the they're for healing. So if you take iron. damage, that's how you heal. Okay. Note, oh, shit, I'm in radiation. Of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. So the first thing we got to do is find a good iron deposit with um like a decent location to start. Right now I'm running towards you. You can see me up on the mini map. And uh we need to set up uh the home base on that. Which is going to be... You should have gotten the materials for that by disassembling the... Yeah. The, um, yeah, I'm, drop pod thing. I'm running towards some iron right now. If you... I think it's hold down C. Yeah. Is there, Can like, a weight, weight limit or anything? Um, there's inventory if you hit tab. Oh, okay. There's no weight limit, but there's slot limit. Okay. C to scan for resource E. Yeah. So this is a matter of just finding good iron deposit. 
we're gonna like need crap loads of iron so when we go for an iron deposit what we want is not just one node okay we want to try to find uh see if we can find a whole bunch of nodes what the heck is that that's a crazy looking monster uh is it the tall elephant looking thing yeah it's like a well it's like a monkey with really long arms <laughs> Oh, I don't know that one. Maybe they have different enemies in this one. There. There. Monkey with really long arms. I'm looking at your screen. I, I, I already ran past it. Yeah. I found, I guess, one node. Um, usually there's a few of them near each other, so... Ah. Uh, big Oh, chase. get away from those. Get away from... Yeah. Running. You can you can shock them and kill the flyers. How do you attack? Uh, you got to put it in your hand. Uh, press tab to go to your inventory and then oh hi I'm right by you. Got that one. Where is it? Got that one. There's another one here. Oh he's over by me. Got him. Got him. Jeez. Yeah, those those things are evil fucks. So, see the little guy here? Those are friendly. You can actually make him pets. Oh, okay. So everybody calls them the, the dogs in the game. All right, so it says there's two nodes. There's one right there. So, yeah, there's two nodes right here. Oh, there's two. Oh, okay. Is this a good spot? Um, well, we want to find a bunch of open land. Might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. Saying, let's look around here and see if we can find some flat land. Two hundred thirteen. So, uh, when I say flat land, I'm talking about like four football fields worth of flat land at least, just to get started. Okay. The machines in this are pretty large. Oh, I got a slug. So uh, come over where I'm at. You can see me on the, the compass. I'm right here. So see that thing right there? Yeah. Uh, pick it up. What's that do? It's, um, you're gonna use it coming up once this we get the base built. Potential energy and it gel. gives you the capability to make your uh, machines better. It's basically like an energy upgrade. Oh, okay. And they're like hidden all throughout the map. Um, this could be fine over here. Let me get a higher ground to see. Um, this area could be all right. That's pretty flat. It's got that sand area, sandy bottom area. We could run the um, conveyors over this. Is there any more iron right up here? Let's see, there's the two of them that are over there. 202, 226, 500. Yeah, it looks like those two are the closest ones. But there's some flat land right here inside these this dunish area, so we might be able to use that. So, um, yeah, this could be all right to start. All right. So I think the first thing it's probably going to want us to do is set up the home base. And, um... That's going to be something that we're going to access constantly. So we don't want to have it out of the way, but we also don't want to have it in, like, production area. Okay. We don't want it to have it have it in the way of the building. All right. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Yep, so we'll need to build the hub. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will I would say result in non-optimal progress. See. You know where that, um, the dunish area, that flat dunish area? Mm-hmm. I'd say on the edge of that someplace. So directly from where these iron are? So see where the iron are here? 
what we'll yeah. probably do is we can run that into so we'll have an extractor and eventually a smelter and all that kind of stuff that'll turn into ingot we'll do that over here and then we'll run conveyors all right over this way build a whole bunch of stuff in this direction chainsaw all this shit down okay and then it'll basically pop out into this so i would say the base is like um almost on this ridge wouldn't be bad like uh maybe right on the edge of this so if that runs from this it's gonna run over to here like right in this area someplace wouldn't be too bad all right let's see press q so there's plenty of bio yeah q is gonna be your um build menu oh wow that thing's huge yeah that's what i'm saying like things are big in this game all right does it auto like grip to the ground or as long as it's not red you can build it all right and it won't like fail build or anything like that uh, there, there's semi physics in the game like when you're building you can break the laws of physics by building something building something on top of it and then removing the thing below it um here i can try to I don't Try. think those are what's stopping it. Turn, turn, turn. Can I make a one second? Nope, not until the hub's built. I'm just gonna place it. Oh, that's way out. We can there. always move it. Okay. Um, I could just. If you need to hit the the sand down here too to just get a flat land, that's not bad. We're gonna have to access it constantly, so if it needs to be down like where I'm standing now. Oh wait, no. There, I'm just gonna put um, it here. I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay. That's up off the ground. I would get it flat down this way. All right, I'll come over here. Yeah, if you can get it in that area someplace, this, that'd be good. This is my. This is my. I'm a player in the way. There we go. There we go. Oh, you're in your own way. Yeah. That's what the problem was. Yeah. All right. Escape. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective hub upgrade storage and power. Note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So only one of us can access this bench at a time. Okay. Which kind of sucks, but we can make another bench. And I'm turning the iron ore into ingots right now on the bench. Oh. Okay. Um, if you look to your left, there's a the hub hub thing. Uh, look at that, and that's going to be the progression menu. That's the whole goal is for us to fill that thing out. Okay. A space elevator. Yeah, what well, we eventually want to get a space elevator, which is freaking huge. Like the footprint on it's probably like eight to ten of these hubs okay and that's going to be eventually what we want to uh we'll get that built and then we'll have to ship stuff back to the um the company fix it all right hub upgrade hub upgrade two milestone cost iron rod i'm making some right now i can throw it in there in a moment that's pretty cool. A lot more to it, than I, I thought there would be. Um, it, that <laughs> That's the start. That's tier zero. See all the locks at the top? Yeah. Those are all, like, we're at, um, I think, let's see, zero, one, two, three, four, five. I think we're on five. So we haven't even done six, seven, eight. We're at 58 hours. Wow. Yeah, so there, this thing's got a, actually a pretty good progression system. All right, so tier zero. So hub upgrade one. Once, okay, so I'm going to let you go ahead and do this. That way you can see it. Go back into the hub thing here, All right. the terminal, and then hub upgrade one, and then at the bottom you're going to select the mission, and it'll show up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Okay. So it needs 10 of those. Um, did you get any ore by chance? No, I didn't know. Here, I'll throw these to you then so you can do it. So same on the ground, and then go ahead and complete it. There we go. Here, I'll give your iron back. 
Oh, that's uh. Congratulations! You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. So that's um. Hub feature personal storage. Fucking things talking. Scanner feature <laughs> copper. Um, so now this is the first stage of the hub build, and then we'll need to do hub upgrade two, and then that's going to take, um, we need to get copper and stuff like that now. And then right here is a little storage bin that we have, I'm going to throw some of my stuff in there. Biomass, carapace. Alright, there we go. You can throw some access stuff in there. And then we need to find some copper. And use portable miners for optimal results. Crap, that's not close. Um, we got one that way that's kind of not too bad. It's one that, whoa. Are those friendly or evil? They don't hurt. Um, the little guys are, there's going to be things that look like kind of like armored tigers mm -hmm. sort of things. Those ones attack. Okay. Um, there's ones that have, uh, they shoot fire and they look like a, a lizard sort of thing. Uh, hey, there's, oh, awesome. Look, there's more iron right here. Oh, nice. Second. Oh, those things right there. I see them right there. Uh, yeah. Okay, those are the ones that attack. They shoot fire. Okay. And... They're not too bad to beat. How do you kill them? You shock them with your shocker. Nothing's too dangerous in this game. Okay. Like right there, I just ate all the shots, and I'm, I only lost two beads out of that. Does the or, uh, iron, like, grow back or something? It's infinite. Once we get that top piece, it, the thing below it's the ore, actually. Oh, okay. I'm going to run over here and get this copper that I saw. So those are the, the nodes. Those nodes are infinite once we get them. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's bauxite. That's interesting. That's in a... I don't even know if we've ever done bauxite in the one that we're doing. What's that? I don't know. It's a, it's a material of some sort. Um, what happens when you die? I I don't I don't know. We ever have. <laughs> um, it, this it game isn't that kind of game. Stuff's just like you can sit there and just get pounded by things and survive. You have to be pretty slow and pretty dumb to get killed in this. I don't know. I'm down to one one bar <laughs> how i don't know i just like uh here eat these i I'm, i have some how do you eat them you got to put them in your hand oh okay there we go and just keep mound down on them till you're at full do you have plenty of them i got a few of them i got 78 on me if you need any more wow i how'd you find those just run into you. I ran into him. Oh. Is this the... Yeah, here's copper. So we're going to need to do this. And... It says we need to make some... Um, copper cable for the next piece. Alright. Copper cable. It's going to be back at the workstation. We have to do it. Okay. Eventually, we'll. So we're gonna. Right now, we're hand pulling it, and then we're gonna get things automated. All this stuff. Oh. Okay. It's all about everything you're doing by hand right now. You won't be doing for very long at all. And then we'll have like churning out tons and tons of shit coming out of that. Or stuff. I should watch what I'm saying. Streams. Does it get dark? Like, is it unsafe yeah. like, at night? Nah, it, nothing happens. Uh -huh. It does go day to night and all that kind of stuff, but it never gets dangerous. Nothing in this is really that dangerous. Okay. okay I'm going to go ahead and get the next upgrade, and then we can get portable miners after that. Which are, um, we take those to a node, and they basically fill up. Uh, 
of copper. Is there fall damage? Don't know. I don't know if I've ever fallen from high enough to find out. If there is, it would be pretty high up. Actually, oh, I did get killed one time. You respawn back at the hub, oh. and all of your stuff's dropped inside of a chest. Oh. You just have to run back and pick it up. That's right, I got knocked off a cliff edge by those little flying craps. Okay. I ran up and they came up, I didn't see them, and they came up and hit me from behind. They knocked me off the edge of a cliff. And it wasn't like fall damage, like it was the edge of the world. There was nothing below, it just kind of disappeared into the void. <laughs> Biomass burner. That's the uh, that's thing I was talking about, like makes biomass. Are you use the biomass to uh, make that? All right, here I've got the next milestone done. And we go hub upgrade two. Congratulations, you have unlocked scanner stone, new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu. Let's see, bench, next thing we need is we're gonna have to find some limestone. Oh, hub limestone. upgrade conveyor belts. No, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. If you go into, um, let's see, can I make another one of these yet? Parts, of which only one yeah, part craft time. bench. So right over here, I'm going to make a second craft bench, or let's see, we're probably going up this side more. Okay, well maybe, wait, which craft bench is this? Is that the right thing? Yeah, it's craft bench. Um, yeah, I'll put it over here. So here's the second craft bench, so we can both be crafting at the same time. Okay. Is that uh, iron plates that it requires? To make craft bench? I mean, this next hub of three, three up in the corner. Yeah, it's iron plates, cable, concrete, and um, refined iron plates. Okay. I think I or reinforced iron plates, not refined. All right, I can make some iron plates then. Yeah, you should turn uh, all of your ore into ingots, uh, iron ingots and copper ingots, and then that can allow for you to make the rest of the things. Um, you're making the plates, you said? Yeah, I made, uh, looks like 26 of them so far. I need to get more... Uh, here I can make 25 there, I'm gonna plates. Put them off this chest. I got the cable already too. I had the material for that. All right, I'm gonna go get some uh, limestone, I guess. One second, we actually um, see smelter construction equipment workshop. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna build this thing over here. Okay. Where the hell did I go? One second, my screen's doing something weird. There we go. I'm gonna just put it over here. So this is the equipment workshop. It has more things that we can build inside of it. Oh. And... If you go over to this menu here, there's something called a portable miner. And... Oh, crap, I don't have the cable for it. Do you have any copper left? Uh, I put it on my chest. Uh, here. I just dropped it on the ground. Right there. Oh, um, I was gonna have you go ahead and. Oh. So, uh, here, go ahead and take it. Let me find it. There it is. Um, go and turn it into copper ingots and then turn it into cable. Cable. Yeah. Or not cable, sorry, copper wire, not cable. Oh, wire. All right. How many? All of them? Uh, no, just you need, um, 50 of them. 50. Or no, you need eight, sorry. <laughs> I made 50. I should be fine. That's fine. It's, that's negligible. So come over to this thing right here. 
The one over here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just. I need to eat more uh, wire. Oh, okay. Portable miner. So, see the portable miner? Make that, and when you find a node, you can throw that thing down on it, and it'll start auto-gathering. Oh. And then you can pull it off of it. I grab these plates that I put in the bank. Right, Take plates. Portable miner. Crap. All right. Drop that. I'm gonna go get more iron. Alright, I'm gonna go get the limestone. Two oh seven, two seventy nine. This is pretty fun. Yeah, this uh, this has been one of those games where uh It's like I've, uh I've it's like No Man's Sky but one planet. I, I'm still I we keep almost buying no man's sky and I just can't figure out what the hell the game is like What do you do in the game? It's an awesome game is what it is <laughs> You just explore. I mean, yeah, but is there like progression of some sort? Is there like a goal? Like are you trying to do something in the game? Uh, so I haven't played it in a long time, but The goal was to get to the center of the galaxy last time I played it but I know they added like more multiplayer stuff and stuff like that so hmm. i i think it might be uh different now how do you uh place an item like um the miner um oh put you it put it on your uh bar i think or maybe it, no no you put it in your hand i, I figured it out okay I'm trying to remember, actually. That's cause normally you build things. I put it in my hand and I just like put it in the ground. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, and sense. then what it's gonna do is uh, it'll start mining, but it's only gonna go on that thing for right now until we get the the bigger miners, and then okay. you can pull it off of it. Did oh, you find I... the stone? Yeah, I got limestone. It mines fast. Yeah, that's nothing. Wait until we get the uh, actual miners. How much? Uh, Ten. Is there a way to like see recipes in the field? Um. If you highlight over. I thought if you highlight over them. No, that's for. Uh, typically, yeah, but we don't have enough recipes yet. So if you go into your, um, uh, like press Q. And oh, then no. go down to power and see where it says power pole. Uh -huh. And then you highlight over, um, the, like, see how the cost is concrete? Yeah. If you highlight over that, it says what makes concrete. It's three limestone. Oh, all right. So I just need 30. I have, like, 200. All right. I'm good. No Man's Sky has been one of those games where it's like I've I've had it in my cart like probably four or five times and just I the only reason why I haven't gotten it is because it's been one of those things like I fundamentally don't understand what you do in the game. It's I don't know like I, I I've played it since release like it I don't know if you remember it had a really bad release but yeah <laughs> I remember that. I I didn't I didn't think it was a bad game then I thought it was fun when it uh when they did that so it's i'm i'm probably not the best uh um i'm not even talking about like fun or not fun i fundamentally don't understand like what you do in the game i understand like exploration you go around and explore but why why not, like why not just stand still that's good do you question. have to sur is it a survival game is it like if you're you trying play, to you can play it on like a survival mode yeah where it's kind of annoying like um it has permadeath mode so if you die you can uh start over and uh I, I played it on the playstation and i was able to do like the get to the center of the galaxy on permadeath mode which is like the hardest survival you could do was i mean it was fun mm -hmm. but 
I, I just, I don't know. Is it, it was an addicting game. <laughs> I don't think I could play it again, but it was very addicting at the time. Have you I played Astroneer? No, I haven't played that one. That one's always compared to No Man's Sky. Okay. It's um, the slightly more cartoony by a lot more cartoony actually but it's uh the more cartoony no man's sky sort of thing okay i put an auto miner on a iron right over on the other side of this bench all right cool yeah that'd be really good um let's see wire um i can get the rest of the plates finished all I right the stuff for that i'm making some ignits right now and then we need to make some screws to make some plates i should be able to make uh, the rest of what's used for this upgrade all right yeah i think i have it all on me um let's see plates oh no i need to make a little bit more all right I um i put what i have on there if you have any more plates here let me make uh what do we need a few more i got i can make the rest all right you said you put a auto miner on this one over here yeah, all right, yeah. awesome. Should be right there. Looks like it only holds 100. Yeah, you need to constantly pull them off. Eventually what we'll do is you make a different one and that has a conveyor belt that's hooked up to it. So okay. you'll automatically pull out of it. Congratulations, you have unlocked new buildings and blueprints which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Eighth objective, hub upgrade, additional power. Twenty limestone or concrete. I got that. As soon as we can get the Mark One miners, those are gonna be what we want to focus on. See, do we have them yet? Just to. So we have conveyors now. Okay. And we have building stuff. So if foundations. We got walls, power. We got smelters. No, we don't have the Mark Ones yet. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one resource thing, so if you build something and break it, you get everything back. Oh, nice. So, there's, like, a lot of exploration in this, and there's, like, um, crashites on the um, planet to where you can get um, upgrades for building stuff. And you'll need power, so you can build, like, a biomass burner right next to it to get power to it to open it. Oh, wow. And then break it down, and you get everything back. too much of that let's see I got cable got the pipes and hey okay. going to get more of that iron you get better weapons we get cars we get um yeah a whole bunch of stuff here, I'll make the rest of those plates. All right, I just grabbed some more. I'll make the rods then. So I'm interested when Rachel and I play We've gotten into an issue to where, like, for her, to where it gets, like, um, I think it's got a memory leak. And oh, yeah? once you get so many machines built up, that the the second person basically gets to where they can't play anymore. Hmm. So I'm interested to see playing with you if uh ends up running into an issue like that. Does she host when you guys play? No, I'm the host. She's the, the one that's joining. And okay. I'm fine. She's the one that actually has the issues. All right. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. 
Ninth objective, hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. All right, I threw everything I can make on there. All right. Uh, when you're in menu, shift click works. Okay. To push in and out and stuff. Except for on the vehicles, it does something stupid. Oh, there's vehicles? Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. There's uh, programmable vehicles, too, that you'll need to take advantage of to get things from, like, far distances. What? <laughs> this game sounds awesome. Yeah, it's it's definitely in the like in the realm of like the crafty exploration stuff. This is probably right up there near the top of it. I'm gonna go grab the concrete over here. Ah, uh, where is it? Um, we will be able to make um, beacons that we can put down, and they'll show up on the mini map. Oh, that'd be nice. Or not the mini map, the the compass. Yeah, right now the only thing that shows up is you and the hub. Yeah, eventually the we'll have beacons, and when you have vehicles, they show up on it. I'm trying to scratch my arm without hitting the mic, which has been interesting. Um, <laughs> you get beacons, you can get um um the cars will show up. Uh, the hub shows up, the um, space elevator shows up. Uh, let's see. But really, honestly, I don't like the world's big, but it you kind of spread out at a pace where it's really hard to get lost in it. I'm gonna go get more copper, I guess. All right, um, I can keep building here. Um, I'm going to go throw another, actually I'm going to make another portable miner. Nope, no I'm not. I don't have copper. I've got enough uh, limestone on me I think to make the rest of the concrete stuff. Yeah, it looks like mostly the, the thing's going to be um, copper. It's going to be probably the main stopping point right now. Uh, let's see. If... We should get some... Um, we got the auto miners on the limestone and on one of the um, iron. Mm -hmm. We should get one up there on that copper. So when we run up there, we can just straight pick up a hundred. All right, I'll make uh, I'll make one. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> it's tedious. <laughs> yeah, eventually all this stuff goes away pretty quickly, actually. plates it's gonna take a little bit on this for the first bit of the game it's like one of those things where I wish I had like a thing I could put on the left mouse button I know right all right let's see here. concrete I had like a crap load of stuff so I wrote a little uh, uh, Python script that pushes a button <laughs> so I could like turn it on and just walk away oh that's nice using um I think it's called pi input or something like that it, it, mim it mimics the keyboard and mouse is this a unity game or unreal um I don't remember I did look that up at one point because I was talking about it I think it was I don't remember. I 
I'd like to say it will not like to. I think for some reason I'm thinking it's unreal. Would be smart like, for them to release on uh on uh, Epic Store since they don't have to pay the license fee or whatever it is. Um, it's also on the Epic Store and not on Steam, so I'm guessing probably Unreal's the engine actually thinking about that. Alright, I got a miner for the copper up there. Alright, cool. What do we need? Uh, wire? Yeah, we need wire made, and then um, I've got the rest of the plates being made the, right now. Alright, I got the concrete made and some more wire. I'm right. I'm gonna go place this miner up here. All right. I find when I have like when I'm streaming, uh, one of the things I like about the headset that I use is I, I find I like crouch over towards the mic when I'm streaming. Hmm. I think I'm doing that right now. It's like I try to lean forward to talk into the mic instead of just realizing that the mic will pick me up just fine. Um. Let's see. We have any cut so there's wire, copper. Some more. Can I make a miner out of this? I need one more plate. Oh, shoot, man. I can go get some out of that. Can you ever upgrade your inventory size? Yeah, it'll upgrade. Okay. It does it with uh, upgrades to the hubs. It upgrades uh, pieces, uh, what you have access to, and it makes your inventory bigger. I'll get upgraded weapons and um, get a rebar shooter and then uh, essentially like a lightsaber thing. Oh, nice. So some of these biomes get more dangerous. All right, I put another uh, miner next to the other um, iron ore one. Okay. Now we got two of them going on that. Copper one is a lot slower than the uh, other ones. Should be the same. I didn't think they had different speed based off of the ore. Hmm. I'm trying to well, the limestone is like really fast. Um, you can actually see what the production is on the thing. Like if you oh. go up and open it up, it's just one per second. Yeah. And then. Uh, See what is the iron ones at? All of the machines will tell you what their production rate is. Yeah, the iron ore is one person, one per second as well. Oh, feels uh, feels different. Uh, what's the ratio for copper? I mean for the wire. Um, one second. Let me get back to the base. I've got a hundred and nine ore. If you hit Q. And you oh. go to, um, let's see, power, and look at the power oh. pole. There we go. And then you highlight over that, it'll show you the ratio. One to three, okay. Close. Um, do we have any other copper nodes near? I haven't looked at that. So. Uh, there was one 270 from base. I think this one was a 230. 331 that way. I 
I think that's the one you're at. Um, hmm. I think you're at that one. So we're gonna need a lot of copper too. Um, and then we'll have to find steel as well. Or, uh, sorry, uh, coal. I'm gonna get coal. Two. Go ahead. I, I'm gonna get 200 and I'm gonna head back to finish the upgrade. All right. Uh, coal and iron make steel. Okay. Eventually, we'll want to go out and um, hunt down crash sites and stuff like that because what happens with the crash site is you go to it and it says what it needs to open you'll give it those resources and then you open it and you get a hard drive and then you put the hard drive in uh, a thing back at the base and what it does is it researches different recipes for the things that you can make okay that's pretty cool so like right now we're making iron plates rods and screws well, those will be used to make uh, reinforced iron plates, and the reinforced iron plates will be used to make um, uh, frames, iron frames. And then iron frames will be used to make um, modular, heavy modular frames. And then heavy modular frames will be used to make the next, like that's it chains down stream like that. Okay. And then you'll have like so that's going in that direction you have the copper get mixed into that so that makes cable and then the cable will come together and that's basically what the whole game is it's going to turn into a massive logistics nightmare <laughs> where you're trying to figure out how to fit a machine in between so that it runs faster and then this machine makes uh 23 per second but the other one makes 137 per second you need those numbers to match up so that you don't so that your uh, creation to uh, supply matches up and all that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. I'm just making massive amounts of iron ingot, so when the next milestone comes up, I can just That's make good. whatever it wants. Good idea. Actually, I can see what it's going to be. Um, right, I think. No, I can't. It's locked. Never mind. Oh, we get space elevator after this. <laughs> All right. Um, I need. You got the copper, right? Yeah, I'm almost done. Oh my gosh, one off. <laughs> oh crap, that changed right in front of me. Congratulations. You have unlocked Pet Future Molecular Analysis Machine, also known as the MAM. Building Biomass Burner. Building Space Elevator. Equipment Object Scanner. Equipment Beacon. Additional Hand Equipment Slot. Motivational Message. Congratulations. You succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you So if you look inside of protocols. The damn game's talking to me still. 
If you look inside your creation menu now and you go to the top under special and then see where it says space elevator, mm -hmm. see the plus in the upper right hand corner? If you click that, you could say that you want to make that and it shows the menu on the right hand side. Oh, okay. It shows you all the resources you need to make that, which is where we're at next. And I think I have everything to make that. So here, one second, let me get them. Oh, let me, I'll start making more wire. Uh, yeah, we'll need more wire and concrete. Actually, I'm not going to have enough still. I got 122 limestone. I'll make that too. Okay. I'll keep working on the, the plates and the rods. I think the copper should be full by now, so I'll run over there and pick that up. Eventually we get like there's jetpacks and there's uh, things that make you run faster and jump higher and there's uh, parachutes and all that kind of stuff as well makes traveling a little bit easier along nice. with the cars All right, I have I have all of the plates done Is there a, is a space elevator a uh, milestone no, it's something we just have to make. It's under Q. Oh. Uh, here, I'm gonna... Where'd you go? Hmm. Uh, I just ran over to pick up some iron. Oh, okay. I'll go get the copper and then I'll drop this for you. Or oh, does... Just put it in chests. Oh. Can you see this? Can we all see it? Yeah, yeah, it's shared. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Yep. There's tons of stuff in there. Oh no, that's all my stuff. I'm looking at the menu backwards. I was like, crap, there's tons of ore and all that kind of stuff in there. <laughs> it's, my, it's my inventory. Uh, limestone. Oh, it should be good. Uh, we're gonna need more, way more copper. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need massive amounts of all of this stuff. Iron's really the thing that's gonna be the biggest resource hog though. Okay. See, I've got the plates done, the rods, we need 400 of them, so one to one, I uh, am, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. on a milestone too let's see there's a lookout tower um, I'd say probably personal storage because it gives plus five inventory slots okay Oh, actually, there's the stuff over here. There's the chainsaws, the jump pads. How are the Mark 1s not in this? There's something I'm missing? Hmm. Is that not till Mark? There's no way that's Mark that far along. Do we already have them? We have Mark 1s. Oh, crap. Where are they at? Um, press Q, production, miners. Oh. Oh, good. You can reuse those miners that we made. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's good to, that they were getting built anyways. Every one of those nodes, they're going to need that anyways. All right. I'm going to start automating some stuff over here. At least the iron. Nice. Does the Mark 1 automate the smelting? No, you gotta put smelter in front of it. Uh oh. That that 
that takes the mining and puts it on a conveyor belt and then you run that into the smelting which smelts it which we have just underneath that and then you can do constructors after that which automatically build uh. so let's see i need more space elevator let's make four all right i need more rods and portal wires okay Are you back at the base by chance? No, I'm at the copper right now. Oh, come back to the base. I'm gonna save you tons of stuff here in a second. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's run that in the smelter. Probably run that up that way. There's also uh, two iron no nodes over here on this side. Yeah, I knew about those. We'll end up getting those connected up as well. All right. So we need power for what we're doing. And we got two biomass burners here on the back. So what we want to do is we want to turn that biomass that we have here into biofuel, I think is the name of it. Okay. Our bio leaves, whatever. So you want to convert that. And then you're going to put it inside the biomass burner back there, and then we're going to build uh, power lines Okay. from that. So here's this one. Okay, that one's full. Oh, you already right. filled, them, filled them up. <laughs> yep, yep, come over here. I'm... So I filled those up, so we're gonna have power now. Where are you at? There you are. Now come over this way. Now on this node right here, I'm gonna take a Mark One. Wow, that thing's huge. Yeah. Actually, it's not. <laughs> Wait till you get like some stuff gets absolutely stupid big in this game. Let's see, where do we want to run that? Um. See, so we can run this direction maybe. Smelter. We can start making the plates. And then bring that out. Yeah, we could bring that from that side. Or no, we probably want to run them together. So we're gonna build this thing and we got one that's over here as well that's gonna get built. And then we're gonna run lines to start making stuff off it. So maybe we wanna make those just straight through here. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to plant this right here, and then the green is where it comes out. And then on this thing over here, go ahead and uh, pick up this miner over here. Uh, where at? On the other node. Oh. All right. Okay, and then here, let me see. Do you have... Do you have rods and concrete? No. Here, uh, look at me. Uh, let's see, how do you split again? Oop, that's definitely not it. There we go. Okay, here you go, rods. And then, um, you have concrete on you? Here, I got that too. There you go. All right. All right, now build the other one on this one. Okay, let me uh, go make some wire real quick. Oh, I've got wire as well. Oh, I, I can just make it real quick. Uh, All right, so we're gonna need to run power to these things. I am gonna put a power node right here. And then 
build two of them over there. And the power nodes are going to be like jump points for us to take this power and hook it together. Uh, you want let's it, see. You want it facing uh, this way? Um, no, no. Uh, so see the way the other one's facing? Mm-hmm. So see where I am right here? Yeah. Face it towards this spot right here. So this is where they're going to join together at. A little bit more. Uh, right there should be good. And that's going to be where they kind of can join together. Okay. All right, so I'm taking the power lines here and are the uh, the biomass burners connect them up to the power lines and then connecting them up to these power nodes right here oh okay and then i took the power nodes and you just link one to the next and then this one i need to connect up to here to get it to start running and then same thing there and that's how you link power to them nice and then See smelters. Wow, 120 or a minute. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying like the, the the one per seconds, actually quite sad. Yeah, I'm over uh, there chipping it away. <laughs> uh, if you hold down control when you're building, it will snap. It has oh. snap lines. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. huh. All right, and then just get the power in and the smelters, and we have automation for uh, iron ingots at least for right now. All right, I'm gonna go uh, do this for the same thing for copper, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I've shown. Like <laughs> doing that hand chiseling. Yeah, that's you don't want to do that. So we're using ten megawatts right now of our oh, power. Oh wait, how, should I uh, make power lines all the way out there? Or is there a better way to do that? Where you can put a biomass burner out there next to it. Oh okay. Sweet. Um, they take uh, let's see power. power. Yeah, ten. 10 plates, 10 rods, and 15 uh, copper uh, copper wire, and you're going to want to take some biomass out there to burn. All right, I got, I got some. If we do that around this way, start building up through here. Yeah, we can pop those things out in that. Say there was an update or something. There's a few little changes in what's going on. All right, let's get some. Production, so we are gonna want. I need three reinforced dam. Um, we're gonna want some space for some production for the early stuff. Um, actually, I might change how that's built because they're used consistently throughout the entire game. Okay. So one of the mistakes we kind of made is I didn't make enough room to um, build them up to be bigger. 
So it was one of those things like um, making rods and plates and all that kind of stuff. They they become the choke point for the rest of it if you don't make it big enough to expand it. Okay. All right. So Q. Smelter. All right. I think it might change actually how. Oh, I should have done. Oh, whoops. Almost everything you do, you don't want to have choke points on. So, like, if you take two lines and merge them into one, they'll usually become a choke point. So you just want to let the runs run, and, like, make things run in parallel more than serial. Okay. I did not have enough iron plates. Uh, plates are one of those things that you will use for almost everything throughout the rest of the game, so... Crap, I don't have rods. Um, I always have a stack of plates on you. That's what conveyor belts are made out of. Yeah, I think that's why I ran out. I also put a, um, there's a storage container mm -hmm. device. I put that on the front side of basically every material. So as you uh, create the material, it goes into that before it gets used in something else. That way, if you ever need to get it directly, it's going to be billed. And if it has any kind of backup or something, at least you're still producing it. So I should do minor storage then uh, smelter or minor? Uh, minor smelter and then storage okay I, I don't store the ore as much you could but they all need to be smelted anyways Perfect. so alright and then I kind of need to make a chainsaw right there Let's see is there any other iron over here And afford. Ah. Ran out of. I didn't have cable. <laughs> yeah. Um. So one of the nice things when we get vehicles too, there's portable workstations on the back of them. Oh, nice. So you can actually make stuff where you're at. Um. As you're running, like grab, uh, leaves and stuff constantly that biomass burners will burn through them to get me going. Alright, 
and biomass things are filled up. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's where I was going to look at chainsaw. Oh, we don't have a chainsaw. Oh, you don't get a chainsaw till tier, till tier two. Till tier two. Can't say that for some reason. What? Oh. All right. Well, I'll just deal with it as it is. That is interesting. What's up? I can't connect multiple things to this generator. <laughs> um, you have to create a node. All right. So on your number one. And then once you do that, you build that out, and that has four posts that come out of it. Okay. One of them being the end post. Is there a way to delete a uh, power line? Yeah. Uh, F. Same way you delete other things. Right. And then just aim at it. It'll get rid of it. Easy. See if I want to build that. Uh, where's the limestone? Here, actually, I think I can just search for it. It's uh, just a little bit. Where are you at right now? Uh, I'm at base. There's two of them that are near. Is it over towards the copper? No, it's uh on the other side of the iron. Over oh, on top of a ledge. Okay. It's this one over this way then. Q logistics production organization storage container. We have um, ore getting stored inside these containers over here now. Do you want to uh, build like a conveyor belt of the copper back to the base? Um, yeah, we're probably going to build that. We'll have it actually produce on the outside edge. Um, so build it back. So it's going into a container now, right? Uh, I got to build a container right now. That's what I'm coming back for iron for. Okay, so once it goes into that, that's going to be fine, and then run the conveyor out of that and run it back to the outer edge of where we're going to have kind of the big building area. Okay. Because we're going to have, like, probably 30, 40 different building things inside here, at least. So um, we're going to want to leave room for all those different pieces, and on the outer edge, we can build the stuff from the iron and the copper and all that kind of stuff, and then we can bring that into the, to the lines in the center. Okay. So like right now I'm bringing this iron that's over here into the lines and I'm going to try to actually see, um, I'm going to put some concrete flooring down so I can um, try to make it all level and make sure things aren't all uh, wonky. Foundation. There we go. So I think I can move these. Hmm. 
Hmm. They changed a few different things. There's different kind of, like they removed the small building thing for some reason. Must have been, uh, I saw a um, thing on Twitter that they released uh, something version 3 or something, so this must be the new build. Uh, if you hold down control, it'll snap. Oh, okay. I was, I was holding down shift. Uh, You'll see a green line come out from underneath of it. There you go. And it'll snap left and right, but it won't snap the other direction. So you'll just have to move it forward and just leave a little bit of room for the conveyor. That might be too close. Looks like it's connect him. It's moving. Okay. Sometimes if you're too close, it doesn't like to jump up that high. You're fine doing that. It's just, uh, I don't know, maybe they patched that. It wasn't really like a, uh, a thing that should have been that way. It just didn't like going up. Mm. All right. Let's see. Why can't I build that? Oh, because oh. I don't have concrete. Hmm. Let's get some more of that before I start building that. Can you go like down a cliff with a conveyor belt, or is it? There's a uh, conveyor lifters. Okay. So you you kind of can. It depends on how far the cliff is. But if you can't, you can still make the lifters. So it's fine. All right. Because I want to kind of like come next to this, just come off the cliff next to this other uh, iron stuff yeah, right here. You can totally do that. Um, I'd leave a good amount of room from the iron though, because uh, that's probably gonna get built up. Yeah. And remember, you have to leave room for when that comes in, there's going to be the, the copper maker machine. And then off that, there's going to be the cable machine. Okay. So just leave enough room for those to get built in front of it without, like, going out into some area that it shouldn't be. Can I just put this copper ore? Smelter. <laughs> yeah. That's what I should have done. Uh, Alright, I need iron plates. There we go. I am automating the iron plates and the uh, uh, rods here in a second. Okay. Yeah, conveyor poles you can put down if you want to, um, like, preset where they're going to land sort of thing. Okay. You can also raise them. So if you need to raise them up in the air, the first click will show where you're putting it, and then you kind of raise your mouse up, and they raise up three different levels. Okay. I guess we don't have the elevators yet. The elevators? Yeah, we do. It's, um, uh, where is that? 
Or no, maybe that still has needs unlocked. One second, let me check my... I think it's under logistics once it is opened up. Yeah, we don't have them yet. They still need to open up. Can you uh, destroy conveyor belts and rebuild them if you need to? Yeah, it's a one-to-one, -to -one too. So okay. you don't lose anything. All right. And I'll just get get this material over there and then deal with it later. Yeah, if it just drops out, I think the, can the conveyor reach from the top of that and drop down? I don't know, I'm gonna see how far I can get. It probably can. The, like, you can get a pretty good distance off of them. Oh, conveyor belt is too long. Yeah, you can only run them so much distance and then you have to plant them and then connect onto that spot. All right. That seems legit. Production started on rods and plates. Uh, I built myself into the conveyor belt. Yeah, I've done that a few times. I've locked myself into weird areas. Just destroy it and rebuild it. Oh, destroys the whole thing. It will leave the feet behind. If you look back to where you, you planted it down, the feet will be there. Why are these not going in? That was weird. Conveyor belt is too steep. Um, uh, if you extend it out further, you might be able to find a spot where you can get it. Or um, here I can actually, there's a little trick to those. Let me get this um, container built real quick and I can show you a little trick. All right. containers in there I see this weird glowing green thing uh, is that one of the slugs I think so it's up on a mountain I can't get to yeah, they're typically in weird places, but you if you see one, we definitely want to try to figure out how to get to it and get it. Um, here, I'm going to show you the, the kind of the hack of the game that's the core fundamental behind going any place and doing anything. Are you back where the copper's coming down? Yeah, I'm right at the end of the conveyor belt. All right, I'm coming your way. If you look up to the uh, your right right now. Yep, see you right now. Well, I meant the slugs right up there. Oh, um, yep, I see him. So this is the hack. If you then to Q and you go down to where it says um, foundation, mm -hmm. you can build that stuff any place. And quite literally, almost any place. So like right here. Okay. Now drop that down to that, the conveyor. All right. Can you get it built to there? No, it's just too steep. Let me see if I can build it further out one second. Oh, now it says I can't afford it. <laughs> Let me go get more iron, I guess. Here, I've got, um, what do you need? Iron. What, what iron though? I mean, plates. uh, yeah, plates. Here, go ahead and jump down here, I'll throw you. I got a crap load of plates on me. Oh, thanks. Here, here, hold up. I got another stack of 50 for you. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Second, I'm trying to figure out how to. Come on, floor. There we go. All right, go ahead and drop it down to that. 
kind of mess around and see if you can find a spot where it'll build. So say too steep still? So. Yeah. All right, Let me see second. if I can get it closer to the edge right here. Maybe yeah. that'll help. Here, try that. Okay, go ahead and let that land there. And then you can delete the flooring. Oh, that's awesome. And the base. And then that can drop down. Uh, uh. Has to go all the way out to here. So, see how we built the floor? Built it, <laughs> deleted the pieces out from underneath of it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's the core about how you're going to figure out how to mess with screwed up stuff. All right. So where did you want this to end up at? At the platform you got built over there? For the copper? Yeah. Um, no, no, I was just dropping it down right there. Actually, I have no idea. Um, that's kind of going out a little bit further. Let's see. Um... Second, I'm trying to get a little bit of high ground. To... We can put, we can put the wire and stuff right here. Yeah, we can produce the wire here. I think. All right. So here's the constructor. Um, I need to go make another reinforced plate. One second. I use this conveyor belt to get back up. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you can. Uh, for the Mark 1s, you can run up them, but once you get the Mark 2s, Mark 3s, and Mark 4s, they backpedal. They're, they're so fast that if you try to run up one that's going against you, it'll shoot you off of it. Oh, wow. So they, you can for those ones. But there's also a edge on them that you can walk on that won't move you. So let's see, I should be able to make that now. Yeah, I can. Oh, there's more limestone right here. Next to the copper. Oh, uh, we should probably get um, both of those running into concretes. All right, I'll uh, see. I'll go start making uh, more stuff. More what? Uh, a Mark One, or <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So they don't make too much because that's what these machines are going to start doing. What the I mean, hell just is it like doing? the automator. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Why can I not go into this damn thing? Do need power? Did you run power to that one that's back there? Yeah, there's power up there. Um, it's like a mass burner. Yeah. Okay. See, so I can run these off of the base ones. It's probably close enough. That nice. <laughs> Plates are already made. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the automators got that going now. All right. Um, I need concrete. Yeah, when you get the one of the limestone notes in concrete, we don't have that yet. All right. You want to do the one over there or this one over here? 
I think this one over here is a little bit closer and it's coming from an area that we're not gonna get intruded upon so I'd say probably the one that you've already had the the dagger thing on the All right. portable miner rocks are really annoying yeah and from what I've found I don't think you can ever get rid of them oh wow I'd like to be able to get rid of the ones that are sitting uh, right in the middle of everything Let's see. three reinforcements yeah, like, looks like we're producing 40 megawatt and using 26 so if you use more power than what you have, it shuts the whole system down. Oh, wow. That rods are... Why is that? Screw? Uh, no room. Uh, the copper wires. Oh, I need to make a chest over there. Wires now automated over here as well. Nice. Uh, let's see. Limestone. Um. That looks like a good angle. No, it does not. Limestone should go to the storage building. The storage building? You mean the the hub? Oh, no, I meant like uh, I should mine the limestone and then put it into storage and then take it from the storage to in a conveyor belt to a constructor, right? Uh, yeah. All right. That way, if we want to pull it off manually, we can. Let's just put you like right about. And then once you do the constructor, put a um, concrete, make concrete from that, and then on the other side of that, make a storage container. Do we have chainsaws yet? No, that's, um, we could probably get it. It wouldn't that's be bad, so we can get rid of some of these damn trees. Yeah. Here, I'll go get the, um, the, whatever it's called for that, the quest thing. All right. How far am I off? Let's go look right there. You're going to make concrete. Power. Um, we are at 30 out of 40 right now. Um, so you're going to run a two machines off of it. Can you see how much they use? It says on them. Uh, I can't remember how much they use. I might have to throw another biomass burner someplace. Five on the mark. Um, four on the uh, constructor. We can put this on, but we're gonna, that's going to be the last things that we can put on. 
Not a higher threshold. I could put a biomass thing over here. Just so uh, we it's don't... better to have. We can add one back here at the base. If we're okay. going to do that, we should add it back here so they're all in one location. Okay. Um. That way we don't have to run around refilling the things. The one at the um. Here, I'll go ahead and just throw another one on it. Let's see. Any more rods? See what's the best way to do this. There, right, it's connected. I can. Um, just trying to figure out how to line them up so they're not in the way. I think. I'm gonna do it from this rock across. That'll create a nice little line. What did I not do? Oh, okay. It's finally going. It takes a second to spin up. Rony can't afford. Is it cable? Where do you want me to come out with this uh, concrete? Um, one second. I don't have any fuel on me. See, the concrete's not used till later, so we can probably just produce it right back here and just run it like right, like run it to an inventory slot, like a contain. You already have it going to a container. Uh, no. I can put a container, like, right here. Um, I put a container, like, right where I'm standing up this way. Okay. And then just run it up to that. Because, uh, concrete we use for a lot of stuff early as far as building, um, foundations and stuff. But it's not used in automated production until a little bit later. Alright. I think reinforced, uh, iron beams are the first time that actually we use them. Uh, let's see. Chainsaw. That's all storing. That'll be good. Um, there's a way that we're gonna want to add, um, you can mul add multiple containers on top of themselves and feed one into another. Okay. So essentially increasing the storage and if we get a good build up of that concrete, it would be good. Almost got the um, uh, 
mission thing completed. So you need to go pick some up. What do you need? Some resources. Um, the copper wire, which is already being made in rods. It, you should be able to see it. Yeah, if you look in your upper right hand corner, you can see progress on it too. All right. I'll drop all this stuff on there. Go pick up some copper wire. Awesome, I got the rods already. Alright, cool. As soon as you throw that copper wire on, we can make chainsaws. That's right, I was doing the biomass stuff. This biomass burner level stuff is pain in the ass. So you constantly have to uh, refill these things. Additional to an inventory expansion, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. And when we cut those things down, we get a lot of biomass. Okay. Do we uh, need to actually craft something, or is that just a new thing now? The chainsaw? Yeah, you need to go to this workbench over here. Oh, what is it? Plates. I got rods on me if you need any more. Uh, I'm good on rods. I just gotta make these reinforced ones, I guess. Um, I have a bunch of material on me too if I need to make any of that. I don't know what you have on you. I don't, <laughs> I've i been dropping it all off. Uh, let's see here. Here I can make a. You need 10 of them, right? Uh, here, I can make them. All right. That way you can use the material to make the rest of the other parts. It is ten of them are yeah. in the chest. Ten of ten reinforced. Yeah, they're in the chest. Oh, thanks. All right. That's the same. One hundred and Left mouse button, the game. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually it gets to where you just don't really do this stuff anymore. You're mostly just setting things up and exploring. With nice. the early game. I forgot about this piece. Which first time I did it, it was, it's one of those things to where like the first time I did this, I didn't realize that it was irritating. But now that I've got the automation all over a normal one, it's one of those things to where it's like, shit, I don't like holding down this button. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna hit the next milestone. Um, conveyor lifts. There we go. I'm actually going to. All right, we should actually get the biofuel. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, made the chainsaw. I think I'm lagging out. Nope, never mind. There we go. Your, I, your stream isn't going anymore. Why doesn't the chainsaw work? My stream's not going? It says I'm still streaming. I just get like a spinny thing. Let me refresh it. Um, I'm looking at yours. It says there's a network here. Hmm. Maybe I'm having some kind of issue. 
I just refreshed yours and yours is back. Yours is still up. Uh, let me check mine. It's not refreshing for me. Fuel biofuel. Okay. Some kind of special biofuel. What's that? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of battery this thing takes. Yeah, I see me up. Uh, for the um, chainsaw? Yeah. Uh, use it some kind of fuel. Uh, biomass. I have biomass on me. Oh. There's a milestone for it. Oh, that's the one I'm working on right now. I didn't realize that was uh, required for that one, unless I would have just done that one first. I don't think I've ever used the chainsaw. Milestone Rachel's exchange. always been the one doing that. Fix it, freighter reentry complete. Um, also, if you run on conveyor belts, you run faster. Oh, nice. They do increase your speed, so if there is a conveyor belt going the same way as you, it's definitely beneficial to run on it. Rods and plates. Like. All right, I have the copper wire almost done. Not quite. I got more copper wire I can put on it. I got it. I just went and got more. I just needed to uh, make it. And then there's some more rods. All right, here we go. I think I got the last of it. Yep, should be good here. Here we go. Milestone reach. You have unlocked several structures and aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, nice. let's go ahead logistics next. Will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Additionally, All right, so on the biomass burners, we want to start using that biofuel now. Okay. Instead of the um biomass leaves things we want to use that fuel it's much more efficient all right i'm crafting a bunch of that right now right, i am gonna take the stuff off of this and convert it pretty fast you mean on the machines or yeah the creation it takes four at a time so it seems like it gets rid of this yeah, stuff really fast but it's uh more efficient so it's more than a uh one to four ratio four of them make two okay. so it's a 50 percent ratio but the the efficiency is something like three or four okay I just refilled these using uh, biofuel. Also, the better thing about it is biofuel because it it takes more to make. You actually put more on it that way. Oh, that's good. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm gonna go swap out the one by the copper machine then. Okay. Anyway, this chainsaw work now. <laughs> I can hear it. That's cool. And that gets wood, what's more efficient than leaves? Okay. 
Uh, grab some um, copper wire on your way back. All right. Further analysis required. All right, I filled these things up. All right, I got 200 uh, biofuel in this thing up here. Uh, just go ahead and throw them in the uh, biofuel or bio. Um... Oh, oh, never mind. I see what you're saying. You refilled the one up by the copper. Yeah, I took out the leaves and I put in the uh, biofuel. I thought you were saying you had more biofuel. Oh. Never mind. I get what you're saying. All right, I got some copper wire coming. I got a good chunk of it I'm making as well. Oh crap, it's 5 a.m. I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. This game is right, so definitely fun. Yeah, it's uh, be prepared for a massive amount of hours to try to figure out how the hell to get more rods to come out of that damn machine. <laughs> oh, so one of the things, uh, the um, slug that you got. Yeah. Um, go ahead and grab that out of the chest. Uh, yeah. Wait, can you make them yet? Maybe you can't make them yet. I thought that was here. Maybe not. Um, never mind. Maybe. Hmm. Is it over here? Oh, I guess you can't make them yet. Um, that's going to be in the future. Never mind. You, oh. the slugs get uh, made into this thing that you put on the machines, and it make the machines run faster. But oh, they consume okay. more uh, energy when they run faster as well. Oh. Alright, got that one done. Milestone and I'm gonna have to go to bed because if I am. Hey, what's up, Picody? Looks like I'm playing a clicker. Optimization. 